City volunteers in Myanmar have been promoting a rice donation event in Yangon. Many local farmers join Siji to save rice each day to help those in need. Recently, more and more people from other places also joined this effort. In Bago province, a volunteer invited 60 housewives to participate in this event. In addition, the founder of Anthek Monastery School also encouraged his students to save a handful of rice each day to help the less fortunate. It's one of the children holds a white container in front of them and walks orderly into the classroom. Actually, they are coming to donate their rice banks. 51 students donate a total of 115 kilograms of rice to Ciji. I took the rice bank home and asked my mom to put a handful of rice into the bank before she cooked every time. I told her by doing this, we could do good deeds. My mom recognized this idea, so we did this. Two months ago, Ciji helped Anthek Monastery School, which is located in the remote village of Bago province, build classrooms to ensure this school has enough classrooms for students. To repay this love to Ciji, this school hosts a rice donation event. When we had difficulties, Tsuji volunteers pitched in to help us. Now other places also have difficulties. Though we are unable to get there, we can at least donate rice to Tsuji to help more people. Among the participants of this event is Do Din Ding Ai. After witnessing the positive impacts of the rice donation in Yangon City, she has invited 60 housewives in the Bagong region to help the needy by saving rice. In the beginning, I did not dare to promote the rice donation event, and I didn't know how to introduce this activity to the villagers either. So I started to introduce Tsuji to my neighbors. What surprised me is that everyone was willing to join this effort. I think it is great to save a handful of rice because I am doing a good deed. I will continue to do this and fill the rice bank each month. Each month, on the day when the participants come to donate their rice, Do Din Din Ai will introduce Ciji to them and give them sign language performances. It is hoped that this power of goodness will continue to spread throughout the villages in Myanmar.